seat. Okay. Uh, should, I, should I just sit here? It'll be fine. Should I put my coat here? Wherever you like. Okay. Now sit comfortably. Okay. Feel yourself start to relax. Close your eyes. And relax your toes. My toes. Breathe. Relax your feet. So you get off the elevator. You go to Luis Alcazar's room. You knock on the door. What happens next? He answers. He's in a robe. I tell him that he needs to leave town. So I think somebody's going to try to kill him. He says he'll never let me go. Are you upset? No. I'm mad. I tell him that there's no way I'll ever let him hurt Jax. He says that there's nothing I can do to stop him. He's... grabbing me. He kisses me. I'm pushing him. I'm running. You leave the room. Something... His dishes would hit. It's a room service cart. There's a steak knife. Pick it up. And go back to the room? I'm just so mad. <laughs> I'm trying to cut him. He grabbed me. Pushing me. What are you thinking? He lied to me. He hurt me. He's gonna hurt someone that I love. This is my fault. This is my fault. It's my job. It's my job to protect Jax. I'm going to kill him now. What happens next? I can't, can't do it. Can't kill anyone. I throw the knife down. find the stairs. I don't remember where the stairs are. I just need to stop and think. There's a man. Jason? No. There's a man in a long coat. I can't I can't see his face. It's dark. It's an, it's an overcoat. Does the man walk away? No. What happens? What's he doing? I can't I can't see him. Wait, he's turning around. He's still standing behind the planter. I'm, I'm, I'm backing up. I have to go around the corner so he doesn't see me. What happens next? I'm going to try... I'm going to try to look at him again. Try to recall as much detail as you can. Yeah, he's... He's still there. He's... 
I don't know what he's doing. He's doing something. His coat's unbuttoned. He's... Can you see his face? Wait, he's... All right, that's it. That's it. That's enough. He stops now. out of line. Why wasn't I informed that Brenda was going to be hypnotized without her husband, who happens to be the co-defendant present in the room? Because Brenda was ready. Excuse me, Mr. Jackson, unless you passed the bar since the last time we spoke, I would appreciate it if you'd stay out of this. And you should have never allowed this without advising me first. Now, I want this session stopped immediately. You say whatever you want, we're not stopping the session. He's right. We are legally violating Jason's right by doing this. Yeah, what about Brenda's rights? Huh? She saw someone else in the hall. Now, that might have been the real killer. She might even be able to identify him. What's wrong with letting her try? Now, perhaps the man in the overcoat isn't your client. Perhaps this session could put Jason in the clear. Now, I know you're upset and your objection's noted. But since you're here, why don't you sit down and see if what Brenda remembers might help everyone involved. I really wish that you would. And I didn't mean to exclude you. This just happened very quickly. And for the record, Jason was in the room when the decision was made. He was fully supportive of it. All right, all right. Just anything that's mentioned about Jason, I want it off the record. How are you doing? Are you feeling all right? Mm -hmm. Do you remember where we left off? I'm looking. I'm looking at that man. He's gone. Someone's grabbing me. Did he come from the direction of Alcazar's room? No. He came from the other way. He's showing me where the stairwell is. He's yanking me down the stairs. Nice work, Brenda. Now, when I count three, you'll wake up. And you'll remember everything you just saw. Ready? One. Two. Three. Thank you. 